affordable beauty that replaces my high end. Hi, I'm Laura Ray. Today we're going to talk about blush, lips, some lip oils, different products that I feel are amazing replacements for high end that I have in my collection. Right now I have on my sunscreen foundation and I've done my eyes because previously in another video I talked about those products. I'll link that video below in case you missed it. So today I'll be focusing on blush, highlighters, lipstick that I feel are amazing products and are so affordable. Let's start off with contour. This was sent to me by Westman Atelier. This is an amazing contour. It's just beautiful. It's so sleek. Now the formula of this is amazing. There's no doubt about that. I love this shade because it has the gray tone to it that a contour is supposed to have. I often get that question, what's the difference between a bronzer and a contour? A true contour, like the Kevin Aquan contour, should have a little bit of gray to it to give that definition to the bone structure you're trying to highlight. So I'm going to go on this side of my face with the Westman Atelier. I'm putting a little more than I normally would just so you can see it on camera. And then I'm taking my double dome brush from Delium and just sort of blending this in, moving it, sort of patting, yet bringing it upward a little bit on the cheekbone. On this side, I'll be placing the NYX. It's the NYX Wonder Stick. Now, I've put the NYX here on my hand, and here's the Westman Atelier. The colors are so close. What I love about this, and by the way, I want to mention the shade because it comes in different shades, is light medium. Now, actually, on the other side, you even have a highlighter. So the affordability of this is just incredible. I'm going to do the same thing, and it's actually a little easier because of this being shaped to a point to apply on the skin. So I like that, and I'm just taking my Refer 4 brush and blending it upward the same way I did the Westman Atelier. And I love the way this looks on my skin. This is super affordable. It is long lasting. I wear this often. I actually find myself reaching for this one. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of it sort of extra there because I'm going to apply blush. But look at both sides and see what you think comparing the two. Westman Atelier and NYX Wonder Stick. Next, I'd like to talk about a couple of blushes. I have some that are in different shades, but I'm still going to show them even though they might not be a perfect shade match because I want to talk about the formula, the texture. To me, that's what really makes something feel luxurious and high-end. I've been a longtime fan of the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Blush. It comes in so many beautiful shades. It literally is the texture of water. And it comes almost like you're doing paint. And I just shake it up and it looks like watercolor paint. This shade that I have is Angel. Now this you will not see on the skin. Look at how it runs. It just sinks right into the skin, yet it lasts all day. It really is phenomenal. So I'm going to put some on this cheek. And I just like to tap it in and then take a brush and just pounce it in and blend it. Very little blending is necessary because this is so thin and it's just beautiful. I think it's perfect for mature skin especially. On this side, I'm going in with the Juicy Pang Blusher. This is a watercolor blush. Now the applicator is very different. It is um, wow, these shades are very similar too. It's a little thicker than the Daniel Sandler. You can see it didn't run like the Daniel Sandler, but it still has that watery texture and is very affordable. It does look like a nail polish brush, but it allows you to get the product on really nicely. I'm going to grab a different brush. This is a Refer 5 and just sort of pat it into the skin. It has that same 
beautiful luminosity. That's one of the things I like about the Daniel Sandler is it gives a luminous look, a lit from within glow. That to me looks so beautiful. So this is the Juicy Pang on this side and on this side the Daniel Sandler watercolor blush. I purchased the Patrick Ta blush many months ago because there was so much hype all over and I wanted to have it to compare to more affordable blushes. Now this is pretty nice. I was showing this to my mom when we were in Sephora together recently. It has a little plastic cover that covers the cream portion of the blush. This is cream on this side and this is powder. I really like that about the packaging. There's absolutely nothing I can find wrong with this blush. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to tap into the powder and just go on top of what I already have, the Daniel Sandler on this side, just so we can try out a powder blush. And it is beautiful. But I have one that I reach for even more. I repurchased this recently and it's from Milani. I used this in another video when I was talking about products that shouldn't be forgotten. This is stunning. This is the shade T-Rose. It's one of those very beautiful, versatile shades that would go with just about everything. I'm going to go ahead and put that on this side of the face. That is just gorgeous. This is such a forgotten gem and even look at how luxe it looks. I think it can compete with the Patrick Ta. I know this is uh, a different packaging, but even this, though it's the rose gold, is plastic. And look at how beautiful that is. If you told me the Milani was very expensive and I didn't know much about Milani, then I would believe you because the rose pattern I think is absolutely beautiful and gives a very luxe look to the packaging of this product. But the results on the skin are amazing. I want to share one more blush that I think needs so much more hype. It's Moira's Love Cream Blush. This is so gorgeous on the skin. I just love it. I reach for it a lot. This is in the shade I Miss You. These seem like high-end. This is sort of my replacement for the tower uh, blushes I talk about. I like those too, and they're pretty affordable. They're not as expensive as some really high-end blush, but this is around the $10 price range. So beautiful and affordable. I've had some questions about bronzer recently. I love the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is her airbrush bronzer, and it is very much an airbrush look on the skin. I really love it. I have no complaints about it, except that it's not very affordable. That's my only complaint. Now, one I found that I think it gives you the same results is the NYX Matte Bronzer in Light. I don't buy medium bronzers much anymore because I find that they go on too heavy, look too dark on my skin. I'm going to go ahead and go in on this side with the NYX. Now I do go around the hairline because I wear my hair up and I also have a very high forehead so this helps sort of bring that look down a little bit but I bring my bronzer on to the jawbone and I really love it on the neck. I bring it down to the neck to sort of give me a more tan look and across the nose. So there is the NYX bronzer. Now I'm going to go right on the other side, on the left side of my face, with Charlotte's Airbrush Bronzer. And what I like about both of these is they give a very soft, diffused look. You can blend it out as much as you want. You can layer it as much as you want to get the color you would like. But I think both of these bronzers are amazing, but there is a significant price difference. Now, I also like to take my Stands Out sponge and just sort of blend when I'm done. I'll use a different side of the sponge for this side. But both of these, to me, look very similar and give the same results. Another Charlotte Tilbury product I bought 
within the past few months is her Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter in the shade Champagne Glow. It's so pretty. It's got the pattern of a star and it is a gorgeous champagne highlighter. So let's go ahead and put that on this side of my cheek. Wow, that does brighten me up. It has a nice, beautiful, soft glow to it. Very pretty. No complaints. Now on the other side, Physicians Formula recently came out with some new highlighters. This is Let's Toast. And I believe they sent this to me. I buy so many Physicians Formula products, it's hard for me to remember sometimes. This actually has a pattern too of champagne glasses. And I'm gonna tap into this. Now, one thing I will tell you, this one is more powdery. Like when I tapped in with my brush, there was powder kick up. So I'm gonna tap my brush off a little bit and then go, wow. I just popped it on the face and that's the results I got. Very similar to Charlotte's. I'm just pressing it into the skin. I really love this one. It's so soft, so buttery. Take a look at Physician's Formula and then Charlotte Tilbury. I think they give very similar results. I want to talk about some formulas in lipsticks that are great alternatives to high-end. Let's start with Charlotte Tilbury. I love her lipsticks. I have Pillow Talk. I have Be Perfect. And that's what this one is. It's a beautiful creamy nude. When I'm looking for that texture and something that's going to last a while, I go to the Maybelline Superstay. This is their ink crayon. I don't think we hear enough about this. This is great because it can replace a lip liner and your lipstick all in one. It's the same sort of creamy matte looking formula, but not overly matte. I find these last a really long time. I love wearing these to work because I don't have to worry about reapplying lip product. It will just last for hours. So if you're looking for an alternative to something like a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, there's so many shades in this Maybelline line that I think are great. They give you a beautiful creamy feel, yet are very long lasting. Another lipstick you don't hear much about anymore is this one from Wet n Wild. It looks a lot like the Pat McGrath lipsticks. It's got the little lip here. This is the shade Crimson Crime. I'm wearing it right now. And I know a lot of you say, oh, I stay away from red. Red is too much. But what I did today is I just dabbed it on my lips. I just took the lipstick and pressed just like that. This is a great way to wear red, get that cherry sort of bitten look without having so much product on the lips. You can always just take a clean finger and blend it out like that. That's what I did. Or use a little silicone brush like I've talked so much about. But these are so affordable. I think they're around $2 and are beautiful. Now I love their lipstick that used to be 99 cents. Now it might be a little bit more. This is the shade, um, let's see, will you be with me? I've bought this so many times. It's a beautiful, soft pink. So if you're looking for something, a soft pink, either for the full lip or even just the center like this, you can add this to the center, blend it out, and get more of an ombre look. These are only around 99 cents. Now, the one thing about this is the packaging. I've had these lids fall off before in my purse. So just make sure if you're going to carry it in your purse that you put it in a makeup bag. Lip oils. So many of you have said to me, you love lip oils. Like that's all you wear anymore. So I went and tried the Clarins and this is one product that's high end I just didn't like. I didn't like the taste of it. It was supposed to be raspberry and it gave no color. I want to show you on my hand, I want some color from a lip oil. And even though in the bottle this looked so pigmented, look at it on my hand. There's virtually no color at all. 
So my replacement that I love so much more is the Fat Lip Oil from NYX. They hit a home run with this. It has the same kind of applicator, but I'm going to show you on my hand the difference in color. Look at how the NYX here has so much color and the Clarins virtually has none. Before we end the video, I wanted to mention that House Laboratories runs so many great sales on Amazon for different shades of their lip gloss. Some of you are like me and you like a little glossy look. I've shown this many times, but sometimes this might be the first video you've ever seen of mine and haven't heard of this gloss. It is amazing. Watch this. Look how this just elevates my lip look. It makes it look so expensive. This is very affordable. The packaging is incredible. Originally, these were more money, but uh, they're a great price now, and I've bought several shades. They're stunning, and they're my absolute favorite gloss. So those are my products that I reach for more than the high end. High end, a lot of it, we're paying for the packaging. And there are many products that are out on the market that the packaging might not be as luxe, but what's inside is really special and beautiful. Thank you all for watching today. And I would love to hear in the comments an affordable product you love that you reach for, that you would never give up for a high end product. Remember to subscribe. Many of you that watch are not subscribed. We'd love to have you here in our community. It's such a wonderful place where we share all of our ideas and products we're loving. I love you all so much. I hope you have a blessed week and I'll see you soon.